Today, many women around the world pay a significant amount of money to have bodies with curves like Sarah Bartman's. But her story is far from a simple beauty ideal. In her case, she was not just used but abused, even after her death, all because of her distinctive physical features. This is the story of Sarah Bartman, also known as the Hottentot Venus, a tragic example of a different form of African slavery that many people are not aware of. Let's delve into her life, how she ended up as a freak show attraction in London and Paris, and the horrifying fate that befell her body after her death. Sarah was born into a family of cattle herders in 1789 along the Gamtus River in the Eastern Cape. Her life was marked by hardship and tragedy as she became an orphan at a young age. Sarah inherited physical features from her mother, who was from the Khoikhoi tribe of South Africa. Among these features was a well-developed large buttocks, a condition known as steatopygia, which gave her a curvaceous figure. These features, however, made her a fascination to early 19th century European colonizers who categorized her as subhuman. Sarah's life took a dark turn when she was purchased by Dr. William Dunlop, a Dutch doctor and a Royal Navy staff member. He took her to London in 1810, where he and his partner Hendrik Caesars exploited her mercilessly. They convinced Sarah to sign a contract that turned her into a freak show attraction, promising her wealth but paying her very little. She was made to exhibit herself scantily clad, with the public paying to see and touch her body. This exploitation raises questions about the integrity of her statements and the coercion she may have faced. In 1814, Sarah was sold to a Parisian animal keeper named Roe, who continued to exhibit her in Palais Royal. She was caged and treated like a zoo animal. Her exploitation even extended to the scientific community. Georges Cuvier, a famous French scientist, used Sarah for scientific studies, comparing her to animals and making degrading observations. Sarah Bartman's tragic journey ended on December 29, 1815, when she died in Paris, possibly from pneumonia, syphilis or alcoholism, all while living in poverty. But her torment didn't end there. After her death, Cuvier dissected her body for further study, and her remains were put on display in Paris. It took over 200 years for Sarah Bartman's remains to be returned to South Africa, where they were finally laid to rest in Cape Town. She was declared an iconic symbol of Africa's colonial past. Sarah's story is a painful reminder of the racism and exploitation faced by African people throughout history. We must remember her and work toward a more just and equitable world. Sarah Bartman's story is a testament to the strength of the human spirit and the importance of standing against exploitation and discrimination. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe for more exciting videos. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Your support means everything to us. See you in the next video.